Oh man, it's been a minute. Um, hey guys, I'm back. Um, I am back with a new haul video for the first time in a very long time. This video is broken up into two part. First part, life update. So if you want to watch that, just keep on watching. If you don't and you just want to get to the close, there's a timestamp down below. Use that and you'll be able to bop on over to this Eloquii haul. I think you're really, really going to like it. So let's just jump right on in. Okay, wait, let me, uh, let me do this right. Gray hoodie, right? That's how this works when you haven't been around in a while and you have to give a life update. Okay guys, hoodie on. I'm gonna take this off in a second. Um, and life update time. So if you've been following me on Instagram for the past little while, you will know that I recently went through a divorce. Um, it was tough, it was hard, and will I be giving the details of what happened? No, because it is an amicable situation. Um, we still remain friends and baby is doing awesome. He is wonderful. He's two. He's the love of my life. He uh, routinely comes over and destroys my apartment. <laughs> uh, we do split custody and I get to see him all the time and so does my ex-husband. Um, so everyone is healthy and moving forward and all of that. Um, so I am obviously in a new location. This is my apartment. Um, and I still live in Arizona because I wanted to stay as close to baby as possible. And um, I'm just gonna address the elephant in the room. If you can, if you have been following me on Instagram, you already know this. Yes, um, I am dating someone and yes, he is fantastic and we are very happy and you will get to meet him um, down the road. <laughs> you probably already met him if you've been on Instagram as you've been kind of going through it with us. I've been more active on Instagram just because it's a little easier to kind of give updates kind of here and there versus like sitting down and filming a whole video um, and also easier to do than, um, you know, when the baby's running around like a crazy person. So he is with his dad today, so I am able to sit down and film. So anyway, that is kind of the gist of it. Um, I work full time. I um, am coming back to YouTube with an entirely different perspective, an entirely different, I guess, goal here. So before, um, and as you guys know, if you've been around for a while, that YouTube was my primary job, my primary career at the time, and that is no longer the case. Um, and I don't want it to be and I don't intend it to be ever again So I am kind of going back to why I started my YouTube channel and I feel like you know, I've been doing influencing <laughs> Gross word I've been doing this uh, since 2014 and so I think you know after a while you just kind of lose sight of why you started it to begin with um, And so I am getting back to the fashion. I'm getting back to why I'm here and I think um, You know what really what really lights my soul on fire is helping women dress better so they can see themselves in a whole new light and you know really go after the the life that they want so you're going to see a lot of fashion content on this channel but you're actually going to start seeing me um just sharing life advice um honestly it's something i wanted to do the whole purpose of my channel when i started and this is 1000 percent coming from a place of insecurity um was that i wanted to affect positive change in people you know um, I am almost on a life coaching certificate. Not that I'm going to be a life coach, but life coaching certificate. Um, and I always wanted to help people and, and create positive impact in the world. And I knew that very few women, very few people go on Google or YouTube to search for self-improvement. They search for fashion. And so I always viewed fashion as this kind of like foot in the door to get people to see who they really were on the inside. If they could feel that beauty and they could see who they were, then maybe they'd start thinking that their life was limitless and that whatever was going wrong in their life, that they had more control over it than they realized. So, um, unfortunately I focused way too much on the fashion side of things and really lost my way and my mission, um, getting so caught up in hauls and all this stuff, which listen, this is a haul video. It's clearly I love hauls. I love showing you guys what's new and hot and trendy, um, and how things fit and always giving you the best style advice. I will say that I take that very, very seriously as an influencer, as a content producer, that my content has always been about styling and always been about fit and how it works for you. And if it doesn't work for your body type, what body type does it work for? I've always been that person. I will continue to be that person, but you'll start seeing more videos um, of me just sitting down and talking to you guys and sharing quotes that I've heard that have inspired thoughts and really trying to get back into what I started. Um, all of this for which was to help you to help you have a life that you want to help you design um a life that you want and ultimately to help you realize that you are so incredibly worthy the body positive space has really transformed and changed a lot over the past couple of years in a way that i have not been thrilled about and um i feel like there are a lot of amazing influence who have the market 
on body acceptance and healthy at every size and all that and that's so great for them I am really here to help you design the life that you want and I want to do that through fashion. I want you to see yourself, see your potential so that you can actually start acting on it. So with all that being said, um, you know, going forward, you're going to see, obviously still see a ton of fashion content. I have a swimsuit haul coming up this week, this week or next week. So fire, you guys, you won't even, like, whoo, you won't even know what hit you. Oh my God. Um, and you're also going to see some videos from me. I've been reading a lot of books and, um, I have one that I've been like highlighting and making notes on, and I'm going to start sitting down and just talking to you guys, you know, um, as an influencer, if you guys are in content to creation or if you're interested in that, they always tell you, don't deviate from what works. Don't deviate from what your audience wants. And, um, and that's how you are successful. And the truth is that, that I mean, that, that's just true. If you keep doing the same type of content that your people want, which in my case is haul videos, um, then I'll succeed. And that's great. And, I, and, and that's wonderful. And if you're getting into content production, that's great advice. Um, for me, this is going back to being what I was passionate about and what I cared about. And I don't care that some of the content I'm going to create isn't on brand for sometimes glam. Sometimes it's just going to be crystal. Sometimes you guys are just going to get crystal. Today again, sometimes glam. But sometimes you guys are just going to get crystal and you're going to get crystal saying, hey, I've been thinking this and I think this could really help you. And here's how I think it can help you and making this more of a conversation. Um, I am a big sister and I am a mom and I am a firm believer of why go through life learning lessons and suffering to learn those lessons if you can't share that wisdom with others. So um, I hope you guys will stick around for the ride of the channel. If you don't, I totally get it. If you're just interested in hauls, listen, there are so many amazing new influencers that have come up since I was doing this all the time that really, really, really have a great um, spot in the space to give you guys that. Um, so things are going to be a little different here. Hope you'll join me. Um, and that is it for my life update. Um, and as mentioned, you will meet my new partner very soon. And um, I think you guys really like him. He's very cute and handsome. <laughs> And uh, that is it. So I'm going to take off this ridiculous gray hoodie um, like every other friggin' YouTuber in the world. I did my update in my gray hoodie. I'm done. Um, and let's get into the haul. I'm going to start with a set from Eloquy. Eloquy, by the way, now with the pandemic and everything and the baby and yada yada, I haven't been doing a lot of shopping. But Eloquy still remains one of my go-to brands for just life. life. And now that I work full time, um, I'm definitely looking for more corporate wear, looking for more office wear. Um, so this haul is kind of a mixture of that, but I really. Um, so the first set I'm gonna show you is definitely not for a corporate job, but it is really cute. It is a tube top with a little tie thingy in the front for the bust and then a maxi skirt. It's a really nice little jersey set. It's super light, it's super airy. Mine is weird. I feel like the tag was sewn in the front incorrectly because the pockets are backwards So I wear the skirt backwards and I need to cut out the tags um, But otherwise I really like it. I think it's a great color I love that pink is trending for the summer and um, what is a sometimes glam haul without starting off in the summer number one and number two with a neon so here we are really really lovely um set so i have a 16 top and an 18 bottom the one thing i will say and this is really great for my babes that are smaller busted is that i have to stuff myself in here and i wear like a 40 d 38 double d and i have to like stuff the girls in here so i think if you're smaller chested and you always have a hard time finding things that are um that fit you because they're a little big this set's really going to be really great for you so everything will be linked down below but that is my first set and i super look forward to wearing it around town Ooh, this next little top this hauls all over the place and you know why not come back with such a weird haul um this next top is so cute it is an off the shoulder kind of button down. I really, this is so sexy. So there's, and I've mentioned this before. So if you've been around for a while, I'm sorry, you're gonna hear a lot of things that you've been hearing for the past couple of years. I love a men's button down shirt. I do, I love them, I love them, I love them. There's something so sexy about like this oversized kind of hanging off the shoulder, like men's button down. And I feel like the shirt kind of does that. So again, it's a black shirting material shirt. It has long sleeves and that button, and it has functional buttons on the front, but again, hits that off the shoulder, cropped. So it's got like this, 
don't know, it just kind of got like a little bit of like a sexy, just got out of bed, threw it on kind of feel to it. Really, really love it with some ripped jeans. I think it kind of adds a little more of that morning after kind of casual vibe to it um, and is really, really, really sexy. It has also some elasticing in the back, so it'll give you a really good fit on the shoulder so you don't like lose it. I think that's usually the issue with shorts like this that have no stretch in them is that when the necklines are like full all the way through and don't have any give or pull on them that they tend to fall off and become like a potential wardrobe malfunction you shouldn't have that with this so this is another really really great top i feel like this is just so perfect for you wake up in the morning you're at the hotel you're gonna mosey on down for some breakfast that's what you're wearing the next set i have to show you and i just really got into sets because to be honest the amount of work that I'm putting in and the amount of baby chasing sets are just easy and I think you know my priorities day to day are just to look put together as put together as I possibly can while still looking youthful and fun but just throw, make it easy just make it easy for me and so Eloquie is doing that with this this set in particular so this is a <laughs> this I put on totally wrong the first time I thought it was like a bodysuit I don't remember what I ordered so it is kind of a racer back crop top and it has a tie in the front that'll adjust it so that you can get the perfect fit but also will create like a little circle and then you can wrap the ties around your waist. I believe that's what I did in the try on portion and this is just really nice. It's just a little jersey crop top but it pairs with these lovely wide leg um, pants basically. They're jersey pants. I don't think they have pockets in them if I remember correctly. Do they have pockets in them? Oh girl they do. <laughs> they do. They have space for your pretzels which makes me very excited. Um, really nice little casual set that you can wear out with the kids. I love that wide leg pants are trending again. I've always been a big fan of them so I'm really excited to see them kind of back in rotation and I love how just easy and chic and put together this looks like. Also if you're going on vacation, I'm a big believer of like when you're on vacation, okay if you're going to Vegas, separate, separate conversation, but if you're just going to a beach or if you're going just like a, to an easy like family like lakeside situation, um, you don't really want to wear anything that you need Spanx for. But you still want to look cute. So I feel like this with a, like a wide brim hat and some sandals that you love, a little crossbody, and you are good to go. The jeans that I'm wearing in this video, by the way, are some Good Americans. They um, are just, I just went with a generic pair so you guys could like not worry about it. So I'll link those down below too, just because Good American has come out with a new fit. Okay, it's not new because I've been away for so long, but it's new to like us as a conversation of humans, right? So I will link those down below. Um, the next top I have to show you, unfortunately, is like way too teeny tiny for me, but it is a bandeau um, in a shirting material with this beautiful little sleeve. I was so excited for it, especially to wear it with maxi dress or maxi skirts. And unfortunately, like there's just not enough boob space for me. It is very, very well made and has a great bit of ruching in the back. So you're getting a really nice fit. Um, so again, if you are smaller chested and you find yourself um, having a hard time getting things that fit you correctly because a lot of plus size things are typically made for women that have bigger bust lines this would be a really great option for you it is just lovely i feel like this with like a red maxi skirt or a new, any maxi skirt and this would look really great so it's a beautiful little piece unfortunately it does not work for me but again if you are small chested um, i think you're really really going to love this and it's really nice to see something in a suiting material or a shirting material that has ruching built in because it ensures that great fit so it's a good one, but it's not a keeper for me. Going back to it wouldn't be a sometimes glam haul if it didn't have at least two, I think there's three, there might be three, black body dresses. <laughs> Listen, some things have changed, like a new apartment, a new life, and a baby, and other things haven't, and black body dresses have just have not changed for me. So here is one. This is a midi length, long sleeved, off the shoulder, black body con. Just, it's hard to hold this up and be like, look guys, it looks great. It doesn't look great, it just looks like a big sack. It looks great on though. So I got it in a size 18. I probably wish I could have sized down to a 16. I feel like the sizing would have been a little better. It has this cool kind of like, you know, material. That's not how, you don't wear it like this, but this is, it's like a whole thing that you, or it's a little detail. It's so cute. Um, and it's really nice and lightweight. So the reason I'm a fan of this, even going into the summertime, is the fabric is so lightweight that um, you're not gonna feel like you're suffocating in it. At the 
same time, the body of it, so the sleeves are like sheerish, you can kind of see that. The body is double lined, it's double knit. So you're getting a little more coverage. I still would recommend wearing maybe like a um, like a hosiery style, like bike shirt underneath, or something like a very lightweight Spanx just to kind of hold you in and like give you some nice smooth lines. But otherwise it's really, really comfortable to wear and I will definitely be taking it to Vegas with me if I get to Vegas this summer. If not, I will do a staycation here and uh, wear it around because it is a lovely piece. But dresses like this, you guys have been here long enough to know that these are my go-to pieces. So I cannot uh, get it. You cannot have enough of these. If I showed you my closet, it's all black bodycon dresses. It is what it is. Let's just keep the party going with another black bodycon. This one is actually fairly work appropriate strapless, um, a nice stretch jersey. It's very, very soft, has a ruched side, and then it is a midi length with a tulip hem. It's like a faux wrap in the front. So you do get the ruching on the tummy. So if your tummy line is something you're uncomfortable with, that fabric will actually create a lot of distraction. So I think a lot of us feel more comfortable in those kind of dresses. I know I do. Um, and then also it makes it so you don't have to wear spanks with it because it's covering all of the sins. So really, really nice. The um, slit in the front, goes up to like like lower thigh for me so it's not too terribly obscene <laughs> so if I wear it with a jacket to work I'm good but, but I can also hike it up on the weekend or for after work if we're going out and getting some drinks or something so this is a really nice good basic I'm sorry it's so boring but you cannot go wrong with a good basic black body contrast I just counted and I have two more black body contrasts in this haul I Guess I was in the mood to restock, I'm so sorry. But to take a break from black bodycon dresses, I'm gonna go into black jumpsuit. So this one, unfortunately, does not fit me. Um, is a little too big. So I have um, been working on my health and losing some weight. And so I think there's just a part of me that didn't know what size to get. Um, and so I ordered a 20 because that was typically my standard. I should have ordered an 18 and had it taken in. But um, anyway, this jumpsuit is freaking gorgeous. So if you are not like me where you are not so drastically smaller on the top than you are on the bottom, this is gonna fit so, so gorgeously. So this jumpsuit is a, it's not a strapless. It has like a little bit of a halter neck, but it is so, oh my gosh, you guys, it's so pretty. It's chiffon. It has a wrap leg, which is such a cool detail. I really, really love it. A nice to find waist, um, a good amount of space in the top. It's a non-stretch, so check your measurements. Um, and it has a little bit of that silicone grippy stuff, so it stays up, but it'll also stay up if you tidy. So you'll see in the try-in portion that it is a little too big for me, and so therefore I won't be keeping it, but it is a great little piece and I love um, a nice jumpsuit as an alternative to a black dress if dresses really aren't your thing I know some people are not a big fan so this is a really nice alternative while still looking really really put together little black dress number three so sorry um, another tank top e racer back e dress but you guys this one's different because it has a cutout obviously it's worth it um so yeah it has a cutout right here with these little drawstrings that you can attach or i'm sorry you can attach you can pull so you can pull this to create the opening that you want eloquy's doing this with a lot of other things i even saw like some suiting with like a drawstringy hole on the side i'm not wearing that to work but i'm so happy for them um but this little number is super cute for going out it's nice long length as well it's um just below the knee for me fits really nice i actually love how this um how this fits and i love where the cutout hits i have a tattoo right here and so i can kind of shimmy things around enough so that my tattoo is showing almost like a little window like a porthole to my wave tattoo so that's fun. Um, but again, it's this one in particular, actually, between all of the dresses, this one feels the cheapest in the way that the other ones felt like really nice, kind of like spandexy jersey. This one just feels like a stretchy t-shirt material. So it does feel a little cheaper. Um, and so therefore not as lightweight. And I feel like I'll sweat more in it. But that cutout like just drew me in. So here we are. So I'm hanging on to it. But it's not my favorite, but I like that cutout. So I'm keeping it. Okay, little bad dress number four. Um, this is the last one, I promise. I needed this one because it's shorter. <laughs> and sometimes you want like a little above the knee action, I don't know. But anyway, it's just a really simple dress. The reason I got this is it's just really great for layering. You can throw a blouse on top, you can throw a blazer, cardigan, you can wear with heels, you can wear with sneakers. And I feel like the other ones with that longer like midi length for me in particular, and everyone is different, but for me in particular, I don't like it with a flat. And I don't like it with a sneaker because there's not enough space between the bulk of a sneaker and the hemline to kind of elongate the leg. It just kind of makes everything look 
shorter and like bulkier and so I like having something above the knee to wear with the flat because I just feel like it looks a little more organic, also shows off a little more leg, but also gives you that space to create that long line between the hemline of your outfit and your shoe. So this is one that I would definitely wear with flats or a sneaker and throw like a little bomber jacket or something. People still wear bomber jackets, I don't know. But throw a little jacket on with it. Whereas the other ones, for me, those, for me, those are heel only dresses, like that's it because they're, the hemline is too, lo too long, so I'm losing that, that length, so I need a boost in the heel. Um, so this one is gonna be kind of my go-to everyday little black dress. So really, really like this one. Uh, again, that ribbing material is really nice, and I do feel like it kind of behaves like a ruching sometimes, where like we do get like a little bit of, you know, sins hidden with it. So it's a really, really nice one. It's actually, the material is really thick, so it's a really good quality one as well. And the last item I have to show you guys, this is so exciting, and I cannot wait to wear this to work because, you know, just when you think, how can we make the blazer new again? I look we found a way. So they are doing a split back blazer. You will not believe how many times I had to do that to get that right. Split back blazer. I got it in white, it is available in black. If I had to do a split back black blazer, I might die. Um, so cut open in the back. Isn't that cool? It's so different. But in the front, it's very, very put together. It comes with a little tie thingy so you can get a good waist definition with it. This is really cool. So I think if you are someone that likes to wear blazers as like going out to dinner wear, you can wear this with a little bralette on top and have a little poke like a little a pop of skin, a pop of skin hanging out, or a peak of skin. Um, this would be really sexy, but for work, I'll put a bodysuit on, and I'll put this on with trousers or jeans, and it will look so good. I'm so excited. It's just really nice to have something different and new when it comes to workwear, and different and new when it comes to blazers, which can tend to be really boring and a little fussy, and so this is a fun, different way to kind of reimagine the blazer while still making it work appropriate, depending on what you put underneath. Okay, guys, so that is it for me and this Eloquy haul. It is so so, so great to be back. Um, hit subscribe if you haven't already and hit like to welcome me back. I'm so excited to be back and I hope that you guys are excited about the changes you'll see here on the channel and um, that you'll stick around for this kind of new, sometimes glam, like 3.0. So, hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video.